Um, new releases. Sure. I know Wombat's been playing a hot new release. <laughs> I actually Dark haven't Siders had it. Ex- War I haven't mastered s- edition. I haven't, but I haven't been playing it, so we'll table it to next week. I got caught up in another Wait new Wait until next which... week to find out how Darksiders 1 is. You know, that game that you've already played. <laughs> I'm sure it's still exactly the same. Join us next week for Wombat's Remastered Corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's co- it's his comfort food. Yeah, right. Exactly. He doesn't even know if he's played this game before. <laughs> I, d- I know. I know I've played he it did. He did. He likes right. Darksiders. I do, actually. Oh, leave I, me alone. I, Stop I, hassling I want to hear me. more. Okay. At, at least this one is only $20, right? Yeah, this that's, is a $20 release. And it came out a very long time ago. That's much more acceptable to me. Like, sure. The, for the amount of effort they put into this, uh, sure. Why Why not have this as like kind of a backwards compatibility type of thing? Um, Let's see here. Killing Floor 2 came out for PlayStation 4. I know we played that at, at uh, E3 cheapy. That's like, like a co-op, kill the zombies type thing? Yeah, yeah. It was pretty fun. I wasn't too good it, at it. I It was it was hard. Yes. that's Yeah, that's one of those hard games. If you like a challenge, I think. Yeah. Um, let's see here. For Wii U, we've got Darksiders War Mastered Edition. Um. Wombat, are you gonna pick up a Wii U so you can you can play that? <laughs> no thanks. I'm okay. good. I'm good. Thanks. I see Cheapy has highlighted something he wants on <laughs> Wii U. It's a big uh, Japanese learning game. Oh hi you. No. Close. It's, it's, not, it's a hi Ohio. Yeah. Beginner Japanese. That's it. There you go. Ohio. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, it's Ohio. Yep. Ohio. No, Ohio is where shipwreck lives. <laughs> it's that also. <laughs> That's why Shipwreck knows the word. Mm-hmm. And he's he's got a review copy of this game. And he's mastered. No uh, right. I've, <laughs> he's mastered how to. Mastered. He mastered the Japanese language. He's still working on English, though. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, I've been playing. Uh, well, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon came out for 3DS. I have not been playing those, but I hear those are Pokemon games. You sure? People people seem to be into those. The owl one, the owl Pokemon looks cute. Owlet, I believe. Yes. yes. Owlette, jante, owlette, owlette, jante, plumare. Yep. <laughs> I like this uh, dual pack of Pokemon. I like that they, they realize that people are just going to buy both. Right. They even have a steel book dual pack that sounds like that probably is sold out um yeah pokemon go get them all um i've been playing on pc i've been playing coaster planet which might may have come out towards the end of last week i don't know whatever i've been playing it now okay i've heard of this game okay good uh you've heard of roller coaster tycoon i have that this is from the same fine folks that made Roller Coaster Tycoon. I like mm. that game a lot. Uh, Coaster Planet is very much that game. It's it's very much comfort food, like Wombat likes. Um, it's got a, like story challenges in there. It's got a challenge mode. It's got all of the just build your own stuff however you want stuff. Um, yeah, I've I've played about two or three hours of it so far i'm i'm enjoying it it's very relaxing i i I have problems with too much litter in my park i gotta put a lot of a lot of bins around um it doesn't do a very good job of a tutorial i wouldn't say but it's also not like super unforgiving so you can kind of just punch your way through it for a while to to kind of figure out what you need to do it gives hints and that type of stuff, like hire some janitors, stupid, that type of thing. But <laughs> clean up the shit in the urinal, right? But it, yeah, I mean, you've it's 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 a good game. I, I would recommend it if you're looking for a roller coaster tycoon style game. I think I'm I'm okay for right now. That's fine. You can be okay for right now. For now, uh, for right now, but tomorrow for I'm right now, it. it's a busy time of year. 
That's pretty much it for new releases. And the Star Wars game. Uh, Here's what you're thinking about. Battlefront Ultimate Edition came out. I have a hard time having all these as new releases. Well, you know, well, here's what's interesting about it and why I wanted to bring it up. So this game cost $40 new, and it's the original game plus all the DLC. It includes the season pass. The season pass is still sold online digitally separately if you own the game already for $50. Or you could buy the Ultimate Edition digitally for $40. If you have EA Access, it's $35. Why, why, how have they not dropped the price of the season pass to correspond with this? Or just get rid of it and only have the Ultimate Edition? They're fishing for those is whales. Is that what it is? For dumb whales. I don't know. I, like, I, yeah. I, don't, I, I don't think PlayStation or EA needs to do that. I it's, think it's just laziness. It's too shitty. Yeah, I think you're right. Get yeah, on that. Just, Make a phone call. It just seems weird. It is weird. Like, is it, it, it just replace the the season pass that's there with this. I don't see any mention of the VR stuff on the product page. It's very strange. Is it is it ever coming out? It is coming out still, right? I think so. I don't know. Hmm. NBA 2K VR came out. Uh, I watched the trailer. I don't know what I was expecting that to be. <laughs> did you get the email I sent you? By the I way, did. GB? Thank you. You sent me VR pinball. Yeah. I'm what like, is VR you, like, pinball? I don't know. I sent it to you. It's, it's for it's pinball effects, but with VR. How does? But what does that mean? I don't know. You're the one who has it to play. But this I is need why to know. Am I in I the machine? I sent it to you. You are the ball. Be the ball. Then no, I have no, to no, hook no, it. No, my, no, no. Then I got. Then I got to hook up the PSVR again. I, I think you're just like. It just looks more like wait, wait, the table. wait, 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 wait. Let's let's take this a step back. You spent a bajillion dollars on this stupid VR helmet. Four hundred. You don't want to use it anymore because you don't want to set it up again. Here's something weird that I that makes sense to me. Right. Here's the problem. <laughs> it makes perfect sense to me. I, there's there's a bigger one of the reason I didn't buy it in the first place because I knew that it's exactly what I would do. <laughs> yeah, I was a... gonna say, why did you buy this thing? I did it for the people. Don't don't blame don't blame him. Can you buy NBA 2K VR for the people? Oh God, I don't know what I was what I was expecting. Like a trip through <laughs> like a like a locker room or like what it's like to come out in front of a stadium full of fr- fans cheering for you in VR. Like that sounds like it might be interesting. But no, they got like Papa Shot going with right, Gatorade like three point three point contest or something. Yeah, there's like with, mini, it's with like four like virtual games. virtual ghost hands where you're holding a basketball. <sighs> Right, and, and that, that has to feel so Gatorade. natural. <laughs> right, it's gonna feel just like shooting a basketball. I'm sure, hundred percent. Are you holding move controllers while you do it? Because that's it. Still, that doesn't feel like shooting a basketball. No, I know. Like I'm you're saying sticks. Right, you're making a fist, two fists. Isn't that isn't that what it's like to shoot a basketball? Two fists. I don't this know. whole thing just like how are they charging fifteen dollars for this too? Like you could. You can buy the entire NBA 2K17 game on sale right now for thirty dollars, or you for half that price, you can get this VR experience. Yeah, I I was surprised that that's not not subsidized by Gatorade for everybody to have for free. That seems like that's the way to go. Like, how many people are really even going to pay for this? It seems this should just been have been free to publicize the game and Gatorade. Which are two things you can buy. I also <laughs> I've been trying the Overcooked DLC, which is out this yeah this week. Uh, I think it's five bucks for the DLC. It's more levels. It's you know I, it's just it's too hard for my family. Unfortunately, it's great and I love that Overcooked is like so much fun. But I gotta I gotta train these guys. Maybe ship maybe I can send them to Shipwreck's house for like an intense <laughs> gaming camp. And then Shipwreck can send me back a couple of uh, gamers, hardcore gamers. Did you, did you try just yelling at them more? It's not effective. It, it, <laughs> you know what? That's that's a lie. It is effective, but it only gets you so far. And it, you know, it'll. I, I've gotten very far with the yelling. Trust me. Without the yelling, we were nowhere. But we got like I, level six, I think. Okay. Maybe more. I forget. Maybe we actually got past that because I, I yelled extra good. Um, but no, that, that game's awesome. Overcooked four-player couch co-op. If you have friends who can actually play video games, then you 
you're you're gonna have a great time. And they they sell a, uh, I think for twenty bucks they sell it in the store now, and it comes with the DLC, like the gourmet edition or something. But uh, overcooked, very good. 